sort of making this video for myself, but also making this video in case I upload it. I don't know if I'm gonna... Hi, it's been a while. Uh, if I'm uploading this, if not, I don't know. But uh, I feel like this was a pretty cool tip, and um, I just kind of kind of want to take a record of it. <laughs> kind of want to take a record of it. So um, yeah, I'm basically just gonna quickly talk about uh, what to do with a lot of anger. Um, now this is one solution, one technique that I did, um, but there are plenty. And just because it works for me does not work mean it work for whoever watching. So um, yeah, just uh, bear with me. Um, I'm gonna give little snippets of context as to what exactly transpired and how exactly I came to be very angry and how exactly I turned it around. Um, but yeah, uh, currently doing some study work, okay? So just, just brief context. Um, and um, I'm basically at the tail end of my studies and I'm starting to realize now as I'm kind of healing myself, reconnecting with my inner child, you know, kind of doing some spiritual work and, you know, cosmic spirituality and things like that, I've started realizing that, oh my goodness, I don't really want to do this anymore. <laughs> so as I was connecting with my creative side, my imaginative side, my inner child again, I've started realizing that, and the more I engage with my studies, I'm like, wait, but I don't want to do these studies. Like, they, they are not what I want to do. So it's it's very much a downgrade. And uh, as, as I said, I'm in the tail end, so I, I, I think I have, like, a few weeks left. So, you know, pushing through to get this degree is is, is, is can help me a lot if, uh, if, I, if I can find the value in it. That's the other thing is um, I don't just want to drop it. Uh, but I also don't want to engage with it where I'm like, only a few weeks left. No, there's, even if there's like 0.5% value still left in this course, I need to, I need to, I need to get it. Um, so yeah, just, just been a wild ride with my studies. And basically what happened was, um, there was a call that was supposed to happen with a supervisor. And, um, last time my supervisor was like five minutes late. And this time around, I decided, you know what? I'm going to be seven minutes late because I, I got engaged. Hold on, I'm just going to get rid of some background noise. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I decided, like, okay, so I got involved in a very, very passionate discussion with my sibling, like, very passionate, like, you know, I was really excited to talk about it. And at some point I had to, like, cut the conversation and be like, dude, I really need to go into the supervisor call. So I was late. I was seven minutes late. 100%. I take responsibility. That was a mistake. It was. I, I think... You know, in the in hindsight, I could have just cut the conversation short and just, you know, engaged a different time. Um, so it's not cool to be late. I'm not condoning that. And that's not the way I want to live my life or the person I am. Um, I, but I, I guess I had a bit of a pass and I felt I had a bit of a pass because my supervisor was five minutes late the previous time. So I thought, you know what, I'll, I'll take a bit of a pass this time around. Cl clearly, it's a little bit more casual than I than I anticipated. So, you know, whatever happens, happens. And you see my little panda there? You know, so cute. Look at this killer panda. Wow, so cute. Anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh, turns out, no, it's not okay. I get an email from my supervisor as I'm waiting to go into the meeting seven minutes later. Uh, going, you missed the session. I was like... <sighs> and I got really angry. Because, like, I felt like, you know, I have specific work I'm doing this term that is really like t tugging at my soul and it's taking a lot of uh, energy to transmute it into positivity. So um, I think everything just kind of, I'm not going to justify why I got as angry, it's just a little bit of context to give you a feel for what led to the anger. Um, yeah, I just reached a peak where I was feeling like I was doing a bunch of, like really, my doing my inner child real amount of injustice. So, got real angry. And here's what I did. Maybe this helps you. Like, very angry, like, crazy angry. Um, I don't know if you just noticed, but I spat, like, a whole meter, and it was really impressive. <laughs> um, but yeah, I came to my room, because I was busy expressing to one of my family members, and I was busy about to start venting and getting all angry, but I felt it inside my core, and uh, I came to my room. I apologized in advance, to, like, to my bed, and I started punching the crap out of it, hitting it, expressing, like, a lot of anger, throwing my shirt on the freaking ground, just freaking bra out, punching my bed, getting all, you know, um, body all overheating and everything, um, really angry, and pacing up and down, and continuing to punch, and just 
telling myself over and over again, it's okay to be angry, be angry, it's okay to be angry, be angry, you have the space to be angry right now, you're allowed to be angry, be angry. And um, I express the anger by punching stuff and throwing my shirt. And um, then I did a primal roar, but a quiet, silent one. So it's the process of basically doing a doing a internal. Oh my God, I gotta probably show it. I'll probably show it in the video background. But um, you basically tense all your muscles and you basically do everything that you would if you were shouting like growl, shouting like Arr! but um, without actually adding any vocals to it. So you're not really shouting. Um, and I did that and then uh, I continued to pace and um, I asked myself very gently as you would a child. I was basically like, where in your body are you angry right now? Can you tell me where you're most angriest? And I was feeling my chest, but as I was asking this question and hearing this question from myself, I started like really crying and like angry, helpless crying. And I touched my chest and I was like here, but like everywhere. And I just felt all of my muscles in my body being tense and everything. And it was just like a real bit of a breakdown in that regard. And I immediately, the moment I started crying, I grabbed my own face. I kind of grabbed my, my neck and I kind of hugged myself and I, I didn't really like soothing thing of like oh my goodness oh my goodness and I just I kept telling myself like I love my inner child I love me so much and I just feel like I'm I'm hurting you by doing this and I feel like I'm not letting you be you by doing this and it just it kind of came down to this breakdown because one of I think my biggest dream in my life is to do justice and and to let my inner child be and that is something I'm very very passionate about it's my biggest dream so when I realized, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm doing something that might not be letting them live their best life, and oh, it was horrible. And then I just allowed myself to cry, and eventually I told myself, hey, let's sit down, let's sit down. And um, I remember uh, laying there and just kind of sitting with those emotions for a little bit. I think I ended up laying on the, on the floor. It's great for your spine, and it's really good to regulate your body again and to feel parts of your body when you're like that, in that position. And then I got up eventually after kind of just dissociating a little bit from the anger and kind of just, you know, doing my best to kind of just feel the things for where they are in my body and things like that. Got up, sat on the chair and uh, did really cool breathing exercise, but this one's pretty cool. I don't know if you've heard it before. So what you do is you take a deep breath in, so like a... And add breath onto that. Right? So the, hold it. Relax everything, right? So the ju just is taking a deep, 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 deep breath in, and then adding stuff onto that. It's great for your for your rib cage, cage and for your spine. It's really nice, and then blowing it out in a way where it's almost like a sigh, but also feeling your shoulders and everything relax as you do it. Do that for like six or seven. I did it for like fifteen <laughs> times. Do that as long as it's necessary until you start recognizing that you're focusing way more on your breathing and your body than you are focusing on the emotions. And um, also the other thing to keep in mind is when you do this, you'll notice maybe that after doing it, breathing normally doesn't feel like enough air because <laughs> you're getting so much air and it's just it's really great. And from there, I did another uh, nervous uh, system regulation where I. Um, I'll show it in the background, video background, but you basically put your hands behind your neck and you basically just feel your neck, you know, kind of being supported by your hands and you look as far as you can to the right side, as far as your eyes can possibly go while keeping your head straight. You just kind of look as far as you can go, like go into your peripheral vision as far as you can. Keep your sight, sight there and just kind of focus on where you're looking until you yawn, uh, sigh, or, um, what was the other one? Yawn, sigh, or hiccup, or something like that? But as soon as your body, like, when you feel, like, whew, relax. Yawns and sighs are great signs that your body is actually, like, whew, okay. So do that. Then do the same thing, but the other way. Um, left side, look all the way as far as you can. Feel yourself relax again, either in a yawn or sigh. I think it was a swallow. I don't think it's a hiccup. I think it's a swallow. Um... And you'll feel your body relax. And after that, you can take your arms away 
And you can do another nervous system regulation thing that I'll also show, which is tapping yourself across your chest with your hands. It's very, very soothing, so you do that um, as long as you want, as long as it feels comfortable to do it. And then the last thing I also did was some uh, armor rubs, which I'll also show great for, um, you know, kind of just... Uh, soothing yourself and allowing yourself to feel safe kind of telling yourself and kind of just talking to yourself throughout this entire situation in a way where you're kind of talking to a child where you're being very honest with yourself allowing yourself to feel space because the moment I started crying and breaking down ooh, <laughs> from the anger into like this vulnerable place where I'm actually getting to the root of, of where where the anger is coming from because anger always comes from something behind it at least in my experience um getting to the root of that and I started crying and being very vulnerable and I kept hearing myself say, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for crying, I'm sorry for the mistake I made, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm just having all this regret, all this guilt. Um, and the moment I did that, I immediately just told myself as you would your your child or your pet or anyone you really care about or love, I just told myself, hey, it's okay, stop saying sorry, it's okay, you, you get to be angry, you get to have a safe space to be angry, you get to make mistakes, that's okay. If it... If the call didn't happen today, probably, you know, wasn't meant to happen. Maybe there's a reason you didn't call today. And even if you don't believe that, maybe there's a reason, um, you know, maybe you could just reschedule. It's very simple. I didn't lose any marks. There was no giant consequence. My, my, my supervisor tapped out after seven minutes. She's just like, you know what, I'm gonna let this person waste my time. So it's not even like I wasted too much time. There was no consequence, really. And I kept telling myself, oh my goodness, this entire morning, I literally woke up, the first thing on my mind was the supervisor call. I, I, I wasted so much time uh, preparing for the supervisor call, and then it didn't even happen. And I told myself, hey, 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 that's a few hours, few hours, baby. How many more hours are in the day, right? How much more energy and attention you can give to the rest of the day? And tomorrow, if your body and your spirit wills it, you have another morning. So it's it's not that serious and it's not the end of the world. And kind of t talking to yourself like in a way where you're being logical and you are allowing yourself to reason, but also not de de invalidating yourself or, or devaluing your experience to be like, oh, you completely overreacted or it's not that bad. Like, why are you reacting like this? To kind of say like, hey, so maybe it isn't that bad. Uh, I, I understand that you're feeling a lot and that's okay. That's okay, but let me show you this. Let me show you that, you know, there's not that much of a consequence. You're going to be okay, you know? Um, so that is uh, the the steps I took. Now, for myself and for if I'm choosing to upload this... Uh, hi, by the way, if I'm uploading this. <laughs> happy that you're sticking around. Apologies for the uh, lack of uploads. Just been dealing with a lot within myself, but don't worry, don't worry. YouTube is not a thing of the past, don't worry. It's it's on my mind pretty much a lot of times. Every time I create something, I'm thinking about YouTube. So I appreciate you, my 10 subscribers. Hopefully still 10, otherwise possibly 9. <laughs> but I appreciate it. It's still very early on, and I'm, I'm happy to have you along with this journey. And... Yeah, thank you for listening to my chaos, and, uh, yeah, do I have anything else to say? Yeah, that's just basically the process I followed to one way to deal with the anger. The general gist of the technique that I understand anger to be is express, like, especially attention. Anger needs attention to some degree, right? Anger needs attention. And the l same thing with pain, right? And, and most negative emotions, they get really big when you attempt to distance from it, right? It's uh, the moment you go towards the negative emotion, it starts getting smaller. But the more you ignore it, the bigger it can get. So attention, and in some cases, if it's necessary, like in mine, when the emotions are really a lot, expression. And expressing it in an environment where you aren't sending out too much negativity. That's the other thing I did right as I went into my room. I apologized to my bed, and I told my coach, which is my source, this is the... Um, consciousness I'm connecting to, uh, I told my coach, hey, please help me transmute this. Don't let too much negativity actually go into the universe. I want to transmute this. I want the universe to feel love and light. I, I want to express these feelings, but I don't want them to actually affect the web of life and affect, you know, me or my family or anything like that, but this needs expression. And I do feel like it handled it really well because I didn't feel myself expelling too much energy during the process. It was very much, and kind of telling it, it's going to my coach, right? So I kept telling myself that um, everything that I'm feeling, if something's being expelled from my body, it's going directly to my source 
where it can be recycled, transmuted, and changed into something else, putting it in the hands of something that knows what to do with it. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically very much what I did. So expression, but in a way where it doesn't, you know, affect everyone around you or you or make your story and the things you're telling yourself about the situation unrealistic and eventually like very toxic and negative so far from reality so attention expression and um then uh, soothing like you're a child really very much to ask yourself where in your body do you feel angry you know um don't ask yourself why are you angry or whatever it's it's very much just a process at least this works for me i don't know if it can really be generalized i'm just sharing in case it helps um but yeah, sometimes telling yourself, hey, um, why are you angry or where is this coming from or whatever, it can be very complicated, especially when you're emotional. So just simplifying it as you would with a child, treating yourself like an emotional child in that moment, it might felt, you know, maybe it sounds condescending or degrading right now, but it really helps when you're just kind and, and, and simple with yourself when you're emotional, just to say, hey, where in your body are you angry? What part made you really angry? What part, uh, you know, hurt you? Just to kind of make it simple, to say, in, are you feeling angry in your arms? Do you need a hug? Do you do you need me to leave you alone? Do you want to punch something? Um, you know, do you need me to be quiet? Do you need, do you need, what do you need? Do you need to cry? Can I give you a space to cry? Just to kind of make it very simple to yourself. So three um, is obviously soothing yourself and allowing yourself to, yeah, treating yourself like a child and um, showing that care. And then also nervous system regulation, which is something I've missed for most of my life. Like, I had all these internal monologues and stuff, but I never actually understood how to handle my body, if that makes sense. So, this is the techniques I've shown, things like that, to help the expression process along, as well as the recovery from the expression, because a lot of time there can be some remnant anger you know, angry feelings or frustration or negativity that can remain in your body and to kind of allow your body to express everything, it's all the tension, but also recovering from that back to a state of, of harmony and flow is, is very important. And I feel like nervous system regulation techniques, like some of these I've shown, and I'm going to learn more and maybe share more, um, really aids in the process of self-soothing and also expressing, but in a healthy way. Um, and going from a place of extreme emotional anger or extreme emotion to back to a place of peace and 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 grounding, you know? So, yeah, that is basically the four things I would encourage. It's attention, expression if necessary, self, you know, child soothe, child level of soothing, and uh, nervous system regulation. I think that was, those are the best ways and can kind of be universally applied to processing every kind of emotion. Um, so, yeah, there you go. I hope this was helpful. I hope, um, yeah, you found some value here. Let me know any thoughts. If you have any nervous system regulation tips, please, please, please tell me about them <laughs> and uh, engage with me. Uh, I really appreciate you being here. I'm really happy that you're here and I hope you're doing well. I hope you, you are growing and, and changing in the direction that you want to. And um, yeah, stay hydrated, please. And uh, love you loads, sending love and light your way. And um, thanks again for being here. For being here. Now I need to end the inflection. For being here. Thank you for being here. Goodbye. <laughs>